Hey friends, I'm coming in with another design for MyCraftingWorldDesigns.com and the owner is Anna Rodriguez and this is a new business for her so please visit her site and show her some love. She has some super cute stamp and die sets. So the one she sent me was the Valentine's Gnome set but I wanted to show you the versatility of this die set. Okay, so um, let me show you the pieces that I use really quick, but I actually I will show you all the ones that come with the set real fast. Um, so you have your shoes, your, um, your ribbons for your balloons, you get a outer lying balloon, you have the inside of it, um, you have another love uh, right here. You also have a heart with a, a border right there. And then again, we have another um, another heart with a with a lock, um, and then we also have another heart lock. And last time, what I did is I just layered them up. But you don't have to do that. You can just use them separately. Like um, you know, he could just hold this in his hand, or he could hold this one, whatever. Then we also have the love word, and we also have a hat with heart. So. Um, then again, we have our beard, our nose, and our hands. So, of course, I use the beard. Um, let me just take away the things that I did not use in this particular set. Okay. And I'm not sure yet whether or not I'm going to make my heart a balloon. Okay. So, I'm leaving that in there for now because I don't know what I'm going to do. But these are the pieces that I used. I went ahead and thought, why don't I try making a girl gnome? and the boy gnome okay so um what i did for the boy i kind of want to do like a camping one so i have my little red background um we have his hat um i also did his um shoes in that black chalk um paper that i got from hobby lobby and again, I went ahead and did the beard again. I went ahead and doubled it up with the foam in the center. And for the girl, what I thought was, is if you can see on the boy, because I've already cut it, I just want to show you. What I went ahead and did is I went ahead and just kind of, you know, uh, took my scissors and took that little piece off. Um, and then I also took this little piece off for the bottom of the beard, okay? And um, so for her hat, I decided to do a red hat. Um, I have the tan background because you will see um, some of her face there. Um, here's the heart. And then again, for her shoes, I decided to do green. I went ahead and for my little gingerbread girl that I made, uh, for my baking girl, I went ahead and resized that dress file, right? I made it a little bit wider so that it would go across here right and so i thought okay this looks kind of cute i have my nose right i again i have my hands right so i'm thinking this is gonna look super cute right i think it looks like a girl so far i also decided to use a cricket file right and i found a um i just typed in braids and then i found these so I thought, okay, so that works. And I just uh, minimized it to, I'm going to go from here, the length from here to here. I think it was like um, one and one eighth inch, okay? And so I went ahead and did that. And I'm not really sure yet whether or not this, I did the, the top here, right? But I don't know if that's really going to show up in here. So I think I'm just going to do the nose. I just... I just have this weird feeling that it's going to just look too strange, right? Maybe not. I mean, I could like trim it around here. Heck, let me go ahead and do that now. Let's just see. What the heck? Why not, right? So we'll just go ahead and cut off that little piece. And I really just want to use this little bit of the hair. And I think that'll work. So let me go ahead and glue that now while we're at it. Um, but this is kind of my thoughts. I thought it would be fun to do a little camping couple. My sister, um, well, both my sisters, uh, my older sisters, Jennifer and Michelle, they do um, camping. And oh, no, no, what did I do? Whoa. 
I did that on the totally wrong end. Hello! Okay, sorry. We will just do the very tip of that. Let me get my... I don't know. I might have messed that up. Hopefully not. But I think this will be adorable, right? So anyway, this is what I have in mind right now. I'm going to go ahead and do a speed through of this since you all have an idea of what I used. Oh, and I forgot to mention the paper collection. Let me grab it. It is super adorable. The paper collection that I'm using is called Gone Camping. Um, it's a Cartabella paper, and this was designed by Stephen Duncan, and he sent me this, and I just love it. So my plans are to make my sisters um, some, you know, camping albums is what I plan on doing. But for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and create the cards or tags, and then um, hopefully I'll have these done in just a few weeks. So because my parents are going to be leaving in February to go visit them. So anyway... Um, let's go ahead and get started with the speed through tutorial, okay? I'll process this video. guys I just love how this turned out so I decided to use the sticker set for the little happy camper and the campfire and back here is one of the ephemera cards from the collection um this is from this is actually from a different collection hold on one second this is from uh the great outdoors okay and that is super cute um I also use my uh, black Sakura pen and my white Sakura pen to do a little bit of um, the highlights. I even add a little bit of white polish on her nails. Um, and of course, like I said, I just highlighted the hat. And again, I did kind of like a um, highlight of the hat here, like the embossing lines, because you can't really see them, you know, from a distance. So anyway, um, this again this bow is a single bow from Cricut so if you are um, in their subscription it might even be free I'm not even 100% sure um, last time on the other uh, tag I used the, the double bow and this time I use a single bow and I just thought it turned out super cute and I just love how this turned out I hope you all like it too guys don't forget to check out Anna's shop it is mycraftingworlddesigns.com, and I will have all those links down below in the description box for you. And guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Until next time, bye!